Hi Stampers, this is Travis. So today is Pick 4 Friday and today we are going to use four different items on our card. So the first item is vellum. We're going to use vellum today. We are going to use the foam adhesive sheets. These are amazing. I love these. The next item we're going to use the gilded gems. And the last item is we're going to use some gold um, gold foil. So let's get started today and make our card. Okay, so this card is a little bit different in the design. So the first thing we're going to do is take a four and a quarter by 11 sheet of vellum. This is cardstock vellum. And we're gonna fold this in half. I think this is a really cute, clever idea. Okay. So we have that, and then we're also going to take a piece of our Forever Greenery Designer Series paper. Okay, so all of our Designer Series paper is two-sided, which is awesome. This piece is actually four by ten and a half, so you want to fold that in half also. Okay, so we're going to fold that in half. And now what we're going to do is we are going to take a piece, so there's a lot of greens that go with this designer series paper and one of my favorites is the soft sea foam. So I ran a piece of soft sea foam through the greenery embossing folder. This is one of the mini embossing folders that is going to be used with the new mini uh, cut and emboss but you can use it now with your regular you have a big shot with your regular big shot or you can use it later with either one of the cut and emboss machines. This is going this piece of designer series uh, of this cardstock, the soft sea foam is two and a quarter by four. I ran it through the folder ahead of time. So I have that ready to work on. Now what we're going to do next is we are going to cut out some of the uh, forever flourishing dies. So the ones I actually cut out, I use shaded spruce. I cut out this one. I use the gold foil and I cut this one out okay and then our uh, another one I did was this one I cut a piece of this out in vanilla cardstock okay so I have that ready to go I have this ready to go so I'm gonna take these out of the dies for you and they pop out pop out pretty easily which I love Oh, ha, huh, they pop out so easily it's not in the die. It's already popped out. So I'm just gonna pop those out. Those are the little center pieces. So that's ready to go. I'm like, where is it? It's not in there. Okay, so I have that ready. And then the last one here is this one. This is the shaded spruce. See how awesome these are coming out? I love that. Okay, just a little pull there. Pop these little extra pieces out, give it a little definition. All right, all ready to go. So I have the pieces now. Now I'm going to stamp the, um, where's my cardstock? Oh yeah, I'm gonna I have a little piece of vanilla cardstock and I'm actually going to stamp this stamp right here in Pretty Peacock. So this is another green that goes with the designer series paper. I'm just going to open this up and I'm going to stamp this. I'm not going to stamp it full. I'm going to stamp it second generation, which means we stamp off once and then we stamp. Okay, so it gives it a little bit lighter look. And you can keep stamping with that. So that's second generation. There's third generation and you can just keep going with it until there's no ink left on the stamp. All right. Then the last item I'm going to stamp is just the greeting and I think I've picked just hello from this stamp set. Tiny little greeting. I'm going to stamp that on vanilla also and I'm going to stamp that in the same pretty peacock. Okay, great. Okay, I'm all done stamping. Now I'm just going to trim this out a little bit. Okay. 
Now people ask me, how do you just cut things? I just go for it. Look at, really, it's so easy. All right, so I have all the pieces here. Now, the only thing I need to do is add this to a piece of our foam adhesive sheet. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you're just gonna peel, it's nice and thick, and you're gonna peel off one layer. You're gonna add your card stock, it's very sticky. You're gonna add your card stock to that layer, and then you can run it through your Big Shot. And when you do, you're gonna get this. So you can run your dies through your Big Shot and you're gonna get that nice dimension. Okay, so it's popped up. Isn't that awesome? Okay, now what we're gonna do is just start assembling. We're gonna assemble everything onto this paper. So the first thing I wanna do is use my Stampin' Seal. Just gonna use a little bit of this. Maybe. There we go. I don't need a whole lot on this. Actually, I think I'm going to use my two-way glue. All right, my white glue. I love this white glue. It's so much easier, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, just put a little bit on these leaves like that. Okay. Now I'm just going to stick that down onto my cardstock like that. And then I'm going to take my gold piece. I'm going to do the same thing with that. So the white glue is awesome. You just don't want to overuse it. Okay. Just put a little tiny bit. Well, I'm telling you. What's wrong with me today? There we go. <laughs> Sticking to my finger. Okay, hold that for a second. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this little white uh, uh, vanilla piece. Kind of want to pop up at the end, so I'm not going to put it all the way to the end. I'm just gonna put it like right here. And then the last piece is this with the foam. And the cool part about this is, is it, it just peels off. So I'm just gonna add that right here, like that. Okay, so I have that ready to go. Then I'm gonna put a couple dimensionals. Maybe just one dimensional, since it's kind of big. One dimensional. I don't know what's wrong with my tape here. I have an issue. There we go. There we go. So I'm going to put my saying, my little hello, kind of right here. That's straight. And then I have made a little bow. And I love this ribbon. This is awesome. This is the Forever Greenery ribbon. Okay, and I made a bow. <laughs> And I'm going to attach that with a glue dot. Attach that right there. Just like that. Okay, so I have my piece all ready to go. Now, what I want to do with this, the rest of this is I want to assemble this inside of the vellum. So I want to glue this inside the vellum. So the vellum is actually going to be like the card base. Okay. So what I want to do first is decide where I want this to go on the cover, on the front. So I'm going to stick this down like right here. And then that will tell me because you can see, kind of see glue through the vellum. So I don't want to put too much glue to where it's gonna show. So I'm just going to glue that down right there. Okay, I am gonna to have to put a little bit of glue on the back to hold this in place. I don't have to do a lot, just a little bit. Okay, so the last thing I wanna do is use some of my Gilded Gems that I promised is one of our items that we were gonna to use today. 
I'm gonna put some gilded gems on here, just like that. Hello. Okay, so there's our card today. So the four items that I used were vellum, the gilded gems, I used the foam adhesive sheets, and the gold foil. And I think the card is pretty cool with the vellum base, something different. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.